Kenya and Japan trade is worth an estimated 90 billion shillings, with trade in favor of the Far East nation, which exported goods worth 80 billion shillings against 6 billion shillings worth of Kenyan export to Japan last year. The trade deficit, according to Kenyan traders, is as a result of stringent Japanese foreign trade policies that give preferences to local manufactured goods over imports. And of course, official regulations that favor domestically produced products and discriminate against foreign products. And I'm sure the dialogue will actually be able to tackle some of these. We this, coupled with numerous certification process and requirements, has limited local traders' access to the Japanese market. Challenges on regulations and standard limits uh, business partnership where we found that some uh, of the areas needed additional certification and uh, maybe those are the issues that we can be able to address moving forward. And of Both countries have been urged to consider starting direct flights between the two nations to increase trade volumes. There's also the uh, issue of the language barriers, the issue of the direct flights, challenges on regulations and standard limits uh, business partnership where we will uh, start the uh, necessary discussions, dialogues uh, 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 between among the uh, governments and the private organization, individual private uh, companies. Kenyans have been urged to seek partnership with Japanese traders to exploit the huge horticulture market in Japan, while Japanese factories encouraged to set up factories in Kenya to access the regional market. We should be focusing as a way of actually improving trade is by producing more. By producing more. And by producing more is to get investors, give them a good uh, environment to produce on scale, on large scale. So far, a total of 58 Japanese companies are operating in the country, up from 28 in 2013. Benson Ryoba, reporting for Channel One Business.